What's up, gang? Just juggling. Kettlebells here. All around. Swings. Swings. Everywhere. Okay, let's get back to work. So, today, workout is minute to win it. It's a classic leg medium conditioning workout. You've seen these before. Three stations, four minutes, one minute of rest in there. You're working. So, the three workstations are double unders, Russian kettlebell swings, and step ups. Quick and dirty, okay? What we're looking for here is you should be able to perform consistent work for 40 seconds. So maybe little tweaks, maybe little breaks in here, but be able to swing the kettlebell the whole time. Be able to jump rope or spin the rope the whole time. Again, getting the fatigue and understanding that as we go, but it shouldn't be one double under, whip, 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 one double under, whip, whip, whip. But great time to practice double unders if you got them. Same thing goes on the step ups. These unweighted variants should be moving up and down. This should be a very long, intensive workout. So it's three minutes of kind of sprinting with the little transitions in there and one minute of rest. So you think three minute good hard sprint, one minute rest. Three minute good hard sprint, one minute rest. Rocking and rolling through that for five rounds, right? On our swings, we wanna see a great hinge pattern with that kettlebell. Squeezing our butt, standing tall. We'll demo those in a moment. On the double unders, we're gonna see smooth, consistent hops. Going through. On the step ups, smooth pace, pushing towards the finish just because that is our rest station afterwards. So let's get into those three movements. So we're gonna grab a heavier kettlebell. Boom. Now, we're thinking good grip around the kettlebell. The body is going to hinge over, keeping my hands on my inner thighs so right next to, yeah, okay. All right, and I'm gonna push my butt back nice and tight. Then I'm going to drive through the ground and stand up tall. Boom, boom, every time. Standing up tall. What we don't want to see on those swings is a big lean back. So we don't ever want to see us lean back here. So no alivo wing, as I like to call it. We want to see a nice tall stance, squeezing our butt, using our legs. That will keep the pressure off of our back, keep our back strong because they'll be protected by our glutes and our hamstrings. Okay, so lots of good swings there. If you don't have a kettlebell, then you can look at dumbbells, you can look at sandbags, you can look at whatever gives you that good hinge pattern there at home. If you need to, you can go single arm swings if your kettlebell isn't challenging enough or heavy enough. But today might be the day to really push that heavy kettlebell that you have at home. Okay, on the double unders, find a good rope. Find a good rope. If you don't have a jump rope, we'll talk about that in a moment. But what we wanna see, is hands in front of bodies and then arms below hips. So nice low hands in front of our body. So if I'm looking straight ahead in my peripheral vision, to the corner of my eye, I can put my hands in front of me. From there, a nice easy spin in the rope. And then we're bouncing on our toes. Up and down, nice and smooth. Okay, big keys is can I stay upright as I jump rope? Can I bounce through the floor on my toes as I go up and down? Right? That's perfect there for all of us. Now, for those of you at home who don't have a jump rope, lateral hops are amazing. But one thing we might want to practice today is those penguin hops. So being able to find that same jump rope position and then double tapping our hips as we bounce. So we feel that rhythm like a jump rope. So when we get back in the gym and jump rope, which may be coming, we can do better at it. All right? Also, you can think about lateral hops. So finding a line on the ground, hopping over and back. Nice and smooth there. But consistently hopping the whole time. If that pounding is too much and going up and down with that bounce is too much, then we're thinking about dot hops. Real quick forward and back. Little shimmy steps, little cha-cha, little dance with that. All right? Last but certainly not least, step ups. So we're going to glute strong. Step, we drive up, and then finish back down. We want to be moving with these with a purpose, so be able to Step, stand, up and down. All right? Now, notice that I said stand. I did not say corner over step. All right? None of that. None of these. Unless this is as far as you stand up all day. All right? I know most of you stand to here. I think most of you can have that decent of a posture. So make sure we do that on the step ups today. 
All right, gang. Minute to win it. Five rounds of fun. Three minutes of work. One minute of rest. Have a blast in this workout. And take care.